Hi, and welcome to my guide of the Quest of King's Ransom. The quest requirements are the Holy Grail, Murder Mystery, Black Knight's Fortress, and One Small Favor. The skill requirements are 45 magic and 65 defense. For the items needed is a black full helm, plate body and plate legs, or skirt, a bronze medium helm and a iron chain body, a piece of granite of any size, also, you will need to be on regular spellbook. Besides that, because we don't need to fight anything or pass any aggressive monsters during this quest, just bring along your weight reducing armor and maybe one stamina potion would be helpful. And for the teleports is just one to Ardoin, one to Camelot and one to the Black Knight's Fortress. I will be using a glory charge. Where to start this quest is same as for the murder mystery at the entrance gate of Sinclair's mansion, just north of Sears village. Talk to Gossip. Then select the first option that you may investigate. And now you start at the quest. Open the gate, go a little bit north and let's now talk to the guard. After talking to him, let's go to the dog pen northeast. So east of the house, turn your camera west and right click on the window which is closest to the dog pen, right click on it and break and this will get you inside. Once you're inside, let's open the door, open the other door and let's now go to the uh, big room which is the uh, dining room. You will find a red dot in the northeastern corner. Go towards it and you will find some scrap paper on the floor. Take it and let's now exit the dining room west. Once you've exited it, you will find a staircase. Climb up to the second floor and now enter the northern room and there you'll find a address form on the table. Take that as well. And then just southwest of that table, search that bookcase just next to you. Click to continue and you'll find a Black Knight Helm. Next, let's read the scrap paper. Close it, the address form, close it. Climb back downstairs, now let's return to the uh, window which we have just broken. Right click on that window behind the door and break it once again so we can leave the house. Next, go back to the guard and give him these three items. Select the second option that you have proof that links to the Sinclairs to Camelot. Talk to him again. Select the first option that you have proof that the Sinclairs have left. Talk to him once again. And select that you have proof that for foul play. And we'll give him the third item. Just skip through the dialogue and the guard will say that it will take a like a month before he can do anything. So let's now go a little bit south and talk to Gossip again. Select the first option and ask about the family. Then select the second option, ask about the mansion. And then tell me about Anna Sinclair. Alright, after that let's go south. I will now need to go to the courtroom. This is the building just uh, southeast of the uh, Sears Village Bank. I have quickly noted my 5 kilograms of granite and then just southeast of the 
Steers Village Bank, you will find the courtroom. Enter it. And in the Eastern Jail, you will find Anna. Let's try to click next to the gate. And then talk to Anna. Just keep pressing the spacebar until you make a deal with her. Okay, I guess I don't have a choice. And she will give you some threat. Next, let's climb down the stairs to start the cutscene and prepare for the court. Alright, when the cutscene is over, you will have some options where you can choose from to call your witness. Select the butler and call him. Then talk to Hobbs next to the judge. Click on him and talk to him and ask him uh, about the first option, about the dagger. Then, when the conversation is over and you have your options which you can select, don't select any of them and just click on the uh, court judge next to Hobbs. And then you can call another witness. Let's now select the dog handler. Talk to Pierre. And ask him about the poison. Next, talk to the court judge again, and let's select the next page and call the mate as a witness. Talk to Mary. Ask her about the night of the murder. Then also ask her about the threat. Alright, after you've asked that, the jury will declare Anna not guilty. Next, we will need to leave and therefore we will need to click on the exit just south of your character. Click on that small gate to leave and now you will find Anna inside of the jail once again. Go stand next to the gate again and talk to her. And now just keep pressing the spacebar once again. So she will end up doing her part of the deal, which was telling you the secret entrance to the Camelot Castle. Alright, be sure that you have your Ardoin teleport. Exit the courtroom and let's go to the entrance of the Camelot Castle. From there, keep going east because the gate is locked. And walk north on the eastern side of uh, the Camelot Castle. Now we just need to keep going north until you find a statue. Alright, just found it, search it and this will trigger another cutscene. And now you are in the jail beneath Guy Plafay with all the uh, Knights of Camelot as well as Merlin. Let's talk to this wizard. And then select the first option, tell me where Arthur is. Tell me about Morgan Lafay and the Sinclairs. Third option, what do we do now? Select the first option, Reclaim Camelot. Second option, Retrieve the Holy Grail.
And then the third option, save King Arthur. And then never mind. Now go to the northern wall. And up the northern wall you will find a vent almost on the roof. Left click on it to reach. And now you see that uh, Merlin has escaped. Once Merlin has escaped, let's talk to every knight. I'm going to start with uh, Sir Lancelot. And we'll ask for some useful items that might, uh, which might be helpful for our escape. Let's do the same with every other knight. So next is Pelomidis. He has nothing. Talk to Sir Gawain. Sir Pelias, Sir Tristram, Sir Kay, Sir Bidrief, and this should be the last one. Now, when you've received a lockpick or a law and arrow, you may actually stop asking for their stuff because everything else is pretty much useless. You may uh, actually drop everything. You may drop everything that you don't need anymore. If you have the lockpick, you can already uh, try to open the metal gate, but if you got the law and air rune, go to your regular spellbook and use telekinetic wrap on the guard which is uh, brushing his hair in front of uh, the gate and the cell and you'll get a hair clip. Once you have this, try to open the metal door. I will now see the puzzle of this quest. To solve this, we will need to match each tumbler to its correct height and this puzzle is pretty much a game of guessing and chance. After 10 attempts, the lock will reset. So first I want to see if any tumbler needs to be at height 1. So if you select any tumbler, which are the numbers just beneath the keyhole, you will see that they're all 0 out of 5. Just click on try lock. You will either get a green, blue or red circle. Just ignore the blues and the reds. And if a tumbler shows a green circle, do not change that tumbler anymore. And for all the others, Let's start by 1 maybe. If your number 1 here on the left side is not green, increase it by 1 by clicking on the up arrow. Do it the same with all the other tumblers, except for the one that is already green. Try the lock. And then just keep doing this until all the tumblers are green. Now I just need one more green Now just keep trying the lock until all the four tumblers are green and you will now be spawned on the ground floor of Keep Lefai. Now let's climb up the stairs and we now need to go to the top floor. So go south on the first floor, go upstairs and here you'll find a table. Search it and you'll find a couple of cases. In one of them there will be the Holy Grail. If you choose the wrong one, you will be teleported to Ardoin. If you would choose the wrong one, just run back to the entrance of Keep Lefai, try to open the door and Morgan Lefai will spawn. He will teleport you back into the jail. Just exit the jail since you've already unlocked it and go back to the top floor and choose the right one. The correct answer is the small purple cylinder, the second one from the right. Select it and you now have the Holy Grail in your inventory. Let's now teleport to Ardoin and go to Wizard Comper Tree. From the, drainer, from the Ardoin Market, just go northeast and northeast of the market, the building with a uh, blue floor. Enter that building and talk to that wizard. Alright, after a pretty long conversation, 
he will give you an animated rock scroll, which is the same one that you have gotten from the One Small Favor quest, where you freed the girl in the Goblin Dungeon. Now we will need to go to the Black Knight's Fortress. First I'm going to unload all my items, so I'm going to Edgeville, which is pretty nearby the uh, Black Knight's Fortress. I'm going to unload my stuff. So for the next part, be sure that you have your animate rock scroll, your holy grail, the bronze medium helm, the iron chain body, the black blade body, the black full helm and then the black blade legs or skirt and then also your granite of any size. And let's now go to the black knight's fortress. From the black knight's fortress quest just uh, west of the uh, Edgeville monastery. Alright, when you've made it to the entrance of the Black Knight's Fortress, let's equip our Bronze Medium Helm and Iron Chain Body and open the sturdy door. Once you are inside, let's equip our Black Plate Legs, Body and Helm and push the wall just north of the entrance. Next, let's climb down the ladder. Let's go south and also turn our camera south and we'll find Arthur which is now in a statue. Let's click on him to free. Alright, when the cutscene is over, let's talk to the king. You should give him the iron chain body and mail to disguise himself as a guard. And now he will also meet you in Camelot. So teleport yourself to Camelot. Now the gate should be unlocked. Go north. And let's talk to King Arthur at his usual spot. And this is already the quest completed. Congratulations, you've completed King Ransom quest. You are awarded with one quest point, 5000 magic, 33000 defense and a XP lamp which will give you 5000 experience in any skill as long as it is above level 50. Also, you now have access to Nightwave's training ground which will unlock the chivalry and the piety prayers but this mini quest will be for a separate video. I'm going to put it on prayer because it is pretty expensive. And this is my guide how to complete this quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.